Little Big are back with a brand new single called Kerwa. Uh, it's the follow-up to Lobster Popstar, which came out a few months ago at this point. It has been a minute, but as far as I'm aware, Sonia has recently had a baby, their baby. So, you know, I'll give them, the, you know, some, uh, some excuses for not being able to follow up so quickly. I don't blame them at all. And obviously, they also, um, you know, moved to... America in like 2002, I think I saw, um, following Ukraine war and all that kind of stuff. So they've they've got quite a lot of personal shit going on. As far as I'm aware, um, Ilya is like designated as a traitor by the Russian media and all of that kind of fun stuff. So uh, yeah, because I was I was noticing during the Lobster Popstar video that the guy with the black lipstick that's in the background of like most of their stuff, who I assume is one of the guys who does more of the instrumentation, maybe uh, he wasn't there. And I was just having a quick look on their. Um, Wikipedia page, uh, and he's listed as a ex-member. I wonder whether or not it's simply that the two of them, um, you know, Ilya and Sonia, they've moved to America without the others, um, and you know, it's impossible to write together at the point. La 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 la. Or whether or not maybe they didn't agree with um, their anti-war sentiment. Who knows? It's a kind of complicated time to be a uh, <laughs> a Russian pop musician, I guess, especially while living in America. But that being said, I love. Little Big, they are the closest thing to like, I, know, I was about to say it, like Russian Lonely Island, you know? They've got this weird tongue-in-cheek, like, he takes everything looks super serious from like the very outset, but they're always so wacky. Um, and I will not be ashamed to admit that I did learn all of the dance to the Skibbity, um, um, Skibbity Wah 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 Romantic Edition, because that song also slaps. So uh, anyway, yes, uh, they've got this new song called Kerwa. Uh, it's only two minutes long, so let's dive on in and listen to that. <laughs> oh, okay. I know that word. <laughs> I'm wondering whether or not because Sonia is possibly still doing baby care at this point, whether or not she was able to do vocals, but Ilya's going to do all of the lip syncing, which is kind of funny, to be fair, to see a guy who looks as like crazy as he does syncing that up. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to understand. Oh no, there she is. I was gonna say I'm trying to figure out the like the relationship with the freaking the Teletubbies. It's such a weird mixture of stuff. Also, I will say that man can roll his R's very impressively. There she is. No. <laughs> Now, if I'm not mistaken, I guess that's what the name of the song is. It's Kurva. I'm just not pronouncing it correctly. Is that not like quite a rude word in uh, Eastern European languages? I, I don't know the specific translation, but uh, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, people have said that to me when they've been angry in the past. Uh, also, I love it when Little Big do Spanish influence. Um, like Uno is another great one for that. So, yeah, all about this. <laughs> Yeah, okay. He is like a surprisingly good dancer. Like, I guess so they've been doing lots and lots of videos that involve fairly elaborate dancing for a while now, but like, man's got some moves. <laughs> the shot of him in the Teddy Tubbies thing. Oh, hello. Hi. I get that he's kind of doing like a mult lots and lots of different um, languages and cultures. I get the feeling you are not meant to dress like that with the curls and the hat anymore. I mean, I guess there's no reason why it's any more stereotypical, racist, whatever you want to call it, than wearing a you know the the French beret or the Spanish gear. But God, I mean, that was a little bit of a shock to the system. <laughs> No. She's got a very similar quality in her voice. Maybe it's just the way that it's laid in with the rest of the music as well, but it really gives me um, like Yulandi vibes from D. Antwood. She has this like very bizarre, almost like unreal sounding voice. It's so high and pure. It's, it sounds like she's sucked on a helium balloon every time. <laughs> Understand 
I like that dance. I also like how they went through the hassle of having every different color of Teletubby, not just the one. It's the shimmying. Also, I think the underneath angle of the Teletubby. I wonder if that shot of... Uh... Sonia, that is, I, I am very confused at the using of the, uh, that, but I was curious, uh, it's all kind of like got in the way, whether or not the shot of her in the Teletubby costume looked like it was green screen, because there's one shot of her, the entire film that they use, or the entire music video they use like t three or four times, all from the waist up, I wonder if they filmed this when she was pregnant, or, I don't know, either way, it's, it's nice to say that she's still included in there, and she clearly, like, led some vocals, even though less than normal. She does normally have like entire verses, so I guess, yeah, again, it would make sense. Uh, I also wonder what they're doing with, um, well, just in terms of production, when you when you used to be you know, like a four or five piece um, and then you drop to two, I guess maybe either these guys are capable of doing like, you know, writing all the synth from behind the stuff themselves or whether they just got other musicians to do it. Kind of interesting, but it definitely still sounded like a little big song. It was great fun. I love that they're, they're short but sweet. They're quite catchy. I don't understand most of the lyrics, but I will probably end up learning them by rote anyway, just because it's quite engaging. Um, and Little Big, they have this thing that their music videos, even when they're like this, which is basically just him in like six or seven different bizarre costumes prancing around in public. Like they, you probably could have filmed the whole thing in a day, maybe two. You know what I mean? It's not like hugely high budget, high ambition, but it's very catchy. Like eye catching the video. He's very char charismatic in his. Well, in everything, he, just the way he looks at the camera, just having that, like, sort of scary rough Russian mafia-looking face stuck inside a Teletubby head is, like, funny in itself. So, um, it's it, they're very eye-catching, which means that I will always now, when I listen to this song, which I will be listening to, will be I'll have the video in my head, and I've always thought that's a really good tactic. If you can make a music video that is good enough to implant, it, it builds it up. It's like that Dreg song that I played that uh, did a video on the other day that not many people clicked on, but I don't care because I'm so glad I got exposed to that song because it's so wacky that I now can't disassociate. I've gone back and watched that video like a few times. Um, the song itself was like comparatively, well, it's, it's a little big. It's pretty much exactly what I was expecting. I like the Spanish vibes always. Um, the layer vocals with her on top of it are always quite good. I like seeing her um, him like lip sync her lines, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, no, it's, it was that was fun. I don't think there's much more to say about it. I kind of hope this leads to more releases for them, because um, if it's anything like Lobster Pop Star on this one, I reckon the next album might be really good. But I can also see why maybe they might take a minute again with everything we've discussed earlier on in the video. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably all I've got to say on that one. So quick announcement, my side project, my band, my other entity, Low Flow. Um, I think we're called Low Flow Bland. Bland. Low flow, oh, come on. Low flow band, there we go, say that 10 times fast, uh, on YouTube. We've released our first single, Satisfaction, is out today on Spotify and every other streaming platform. You can lay your grubby little mitts on. The music video comes out today at 5.30 or yesterday at 5.30 if you watch this tomorrow, etc. So if you want to show us a little bit of love and listen to that song, it would make a lot of difference to us. We spent a lot of time on it. It's, um, yeah, passion for it. We're, we're very proud of it. So yes, if you wouldn't mind jumping on over there, I'll leave a link in the description for you. Uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Oh, and quickly in the comments, let me know what is your favorite little big song of this most recent arc? Like, of the more westerny ones, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I'm curious. I think, I think I liked Lobster Pop Star more. I don't know whether or not Uno counts, but I do really like Uno too. But anyway, yes, let me know in the comments. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.